Entrepreneurial clinicians, we are here. We have made it to Friday afternoon, the COVID central week, the week we've never had before, the week of complete disruption and brain fartness and all of the things. I think everybody should go find their book of evidence and write on a page, I made it to Friday and it's all okay. So I really do think that for all of us, regardless of how you're feeling right now, we got through because together we're going to be better. Hasn't it been these? Oh, by the way, I'll put the link if you want to purchase one of these because now would be a really good time to be reflecting on this stuff while your emotions are really heightened. The week has just been a bit crazy. I think crazy is the word I have heard a lot. Um, as more and more people are picking up the phone, more and more people wanting to connect, more and more people asking how I'm going and what I'm doing about this whole situation. It's kind of, instead of saying I'm tired or it's busy or it's, the week's been crazy, the week's been crazy. And you're right, the week has been crazy. This time last week was very different to how we all were responding the different types of news, the different types of events, the fact that, you know, many of us particularly attached to the therapist community in the States, we actually know of people who are dying uh, because of the virus. Um, so, you know what, if you're here and you're watching and you're listening, I congratulate you. I thank you for being a part of this community and I thank you for trusting me with the, little, the time that you have available at the moment. My internet this afternoon is really poor. It doesn't matter which service provider I use, I am just struggling. So if this is fuzzy, if it's not working, if you can't hear me, I would really, really appreciate you letting me know because right now it looks like it's working, but I can't tell because I'm not getting any interaction or feedback or anything like that. It'll probably all come in really quickly and then I'll be overwhelmed, but that's all right. I can handle that. I am really curious to know how we relax and replenish in this situation, in the situation of heightened anxiety, in this situation where we can't get rid of the stuff out of our heads. Um, it's very easy to um, say just unplug, but how easy to actually unplug? Um, I, I was trying to be very tongue in cheek earlier today and I put out a, a post on my personal Facebook profile saying, hey, it's been two hours without me receiving a email about the COVID-19 and what somebody's doing about it. <laughs> and um, it was actually quite refreshing, but it made me aware of how often I'm going into my inbox, specifically looking for that type of information because I've now become conditioned to be looking for that information. Uh, and also wondering, are people asking for support? What support do people need? Because what is really interesting, and this is the words of wisdom of Joe I want to leave you all with this week, is that we all know that it doesn't matter what we do for people or what we say to people, what will be remembered is how we made people feel. So this is a perfect opportunity for those of us especially who are incredibly task oriented, ambitious, driven, want to be competitive, want to achieve results to kind of go, now is not my time to shine that way. Yes, we are needed. I know my results driven personality is going to be needed in the, the last quarter of this year as I help everybody else recover and move on. They're going to be looking to me for leadership and security and being able to, oh, hey, Kate, being able to push them forward. What we need right now is a consistent understanding of how we make people feel, being aware of how we make people feel, not shaming, no shame. So if you have a grumpy moment, like I have several grumpy moments, it's not to shame yourself and go, oh my God, I was so grumpy, I'm the worst person in the world. Or in my case, oh my God, I just yelled at John again about something that's completely inconsequential. Awesome, he's going to leave me, I'll be humiliated and the humiliation is going to be so bad I will die of shame and embarrassment. They are the crazy stories I am telling myself in my head in case anybody is wondering. It is time for us to just step up with the self-compassion and the compassion with others so that we can help them understand that we're all just doing this together. So I had to share some news with my team today that I didn't want to share, but they needed to know. 
Now my biggest, most single worry about it was I'm going to add to them their emotional load. I'm going to add to their emotional load. Oh my God, I'm going to add to their emotional load. But you know what? They're adults, they're smart, they're wise. They're actually on my team for a reason. All of them have been able to come back to me and go, well, that sucks, how do we help? Well, that sucks, how do we help? So, you know what? Let's not start superimposing fragility onto one another. Yes, we need to understand and respect that we're all doing stuff. they are all gonna have moments where these little things get lost. Seriously, I have been keeping him close today. This is the thing I was talking about yesterday that's just been wandering. We're gonna have moments when we snap. We're gonna have moments where we wanna be tearful. We're gonna have moments where we feel a heightened sense of anxiety. It's okay for now. But how we make people feel today is how we're gonna be remembered. So how we make our clients feel, not just in the clinic viewing area as opposed to the clinic room now, but how we make them feel in setting up for online services or telephone services. How we make our third party payers feel as we help them navigate through this process. How we make our suppliers feel, how we make our <laughs> anybody we're involved with feel. And what I've noticed I need to do today is breathe. I need to take my glasses off and look people in the face. I need to not have my phone in my hand all the time so I'm not constantly distracted or not wanting to go, what else is being said? What else is being said? Where else can I engage? Please don't make the mistake that frequency of contacts means connection. That is not correct. And that, if not handled correctly or not handled in a way that's safe for you, could actually end up doing you some more harm. So if you are like me and you have felt like you have been glued to a screen waiting for the next piece of news or waiting to see who else is gonna be comment, a couple of things could be going on here. Number one, we, we've got some heightened levels of anxiety and we need to give ourselves a break. Number two, we're engaging in busy work. We're just looking for something else to get us out of the whole overwhelm, I can't make sense of anything. So we're looking for something to release some endorphins and dopamine hits and all of that stuff. And we're getting it from television or social media. And so we're all being encouraged to stay connected and that's incredibly important and a great safety strategy for our mental health. But please do not mistake that the number of connections with the number of people equals the type of connection you need. I've been really harping on about this connection piece all week because I don't need to connect the same way other people do. Kate doesn't need to connect the same way other people do. Good thing is Kate and I like to connect the same way, but there will be other people in your world who will want different methods, different modes, different frequency, different duration. And we need to be prepared for that and okay with that and lead from a place of how can I add to the goodness in this world? How can I add to kindness? How can I add to generosity? How can I add to gratitude? I've got an amazing circle of people around me my AYP ladies, and I've just watched this week as we've been talking a lot, how we've gone from, oh my God, crisis, 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 freak out, lots of humor right now to, I really want us to focus on this. And I want us to focus on this. And I can see this good coming out of it. And I can see that good coming out of it. That's happening in the space of four or five days. So again, like I said yesterday, is it any wonder we are tired? So my takeaway message today, because I'm nearly done, is nobody's going to remember what you said, nobody's going to remember what you did, but they're all going to remember how you made them feel. And that is going to be the sticking point for us picking up or going forward and rebuilding after this crisis period is over. And it doesn't mean that we all have to be down and dirty and ugly and horrible at the moment. So I am looking forward to a yoga class tomorrow yoga class on Sunday. I'm going to have to start disciplining myself with just 10 minutes without my phone in my hand because I know that's where I got to start from. If I can go with 10 minutes, then the next time I might be able to go with 15 minutes. But I know I can't put it away for a whole day that my anxiety would be so high if I did that at the moment. Ah, oh, wow. 
again, super proud of all of us for getting through this. I've actually written in this three times this week because there's some things that have happened this week and things that I've been really personally proud of. I'm not quite ready to share yet because I'm still working through them and I've got some other stuff that I need to deal with outside of my work because who we are is so much more important than what we do. And I think I'll leave it there. Wishing you all a fantastic end of the week. Know you are loved, know that you are important, know that you are significant, know that you matter. And I was deadly serious about that content that I put out today. If you need support and help, you reach out. I'm here, possibly not in the same time zone, but let me be a source of somewhere I can refer you and help you get connected. Because I don't want anybody coming through this um, who didn't reach out or I didn't at least extend this invitation to. I need to know that I've done everything possible to make the world a better place during this situation. So I'm heading into my weekend. I am redefining what replenishing looks like for me because right now it needs some redefining or rediscovery. But I'm looking forward to coming back next week. Possibly not quite so energetic because my fatigue is going to roll over. But you know what? I am still looking forward to coming back. I'm still looking forward to being able to connect. I'm still looking forward to being able to share with everybody. So until then, go be your awesome self.